You know, a lot of people have been asking me about uh, BenQ, my 32-inch BenQ uh, 4K HDR monitor. And I got to tell you, I'm very pleased so far with this monitor and what it's able to achieve. Uh, is it the brightest monitor? No, it's not. But then again, remember, guys, uh, it's not about having the brightest monitor. Uh, to me, personally, because... You're going to be sitting, what, not even, not even two feet away. I'm sitting like, I don't know, like maybe one feet. As a matter of fact, you'll be sitting 34 inches away from this monitor. So you'll be like really close to the monitor. So therefore, having 300 nits doesn't really bother me. You don't want 1,000 nits that, that this monitor would be projecting into your eyes uh, that's something you don't want. The monitor, it's meant for sitting up close, like right now that I'm sitting. What you're looking at here, it's a Battlefield 5. That's my Alienware uh, Aurora right there that you see. And uh, I'm going to uh, show you my settings really quick and what I'm using and everything So on the game. So let's go to the options and let's go to the video. Uh, as you can see, it's at uh, 3840 by 2160. And then everything else here on the advance, we're going to set it to um, Ultra. Everything sent to Ultra. Well, you guys can see right over here, Ultra, Ultra. The HDR settings, this is fine. I mean, if you want to, you can move it up a little bit. I would move it to... 1219 there you go so now the both boxes are the same brightness let's go back and we're gonna go ahead and do a video here on this gameplay called the war stories and we're gonna click on one of them really quick right now we're gonna click with uh, this one this is the French army. This was the regiment here that fought for the uh, French army. It's pretty cool. I don't want to spoil it too much, but you guys should play this one. This one's pretty intense, pretty good. So here we go. There you can see me right there. And uh, it really looks great, man. Uh, the HDR here, uh, the peak brightness on the HDR and everything just looks amazing. Maybe I can move down my low light a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. I'm using my GoPro Hero 6 camera here. I'm not going to fight here. I'm just kind of I'm going to show you how it looks. I'm going to try to position my camera a little bit here just so you guys can see a little bit better. Uh, this is all set to the ultra settings and the HDR, the HDR really looks good on this television uh, not on this television on this 10-bit uh, monitor one thing people need to uh, remember that this is not sRGB 8-bit this is a 10-bit uh, I do have sRGB uh, LG 4K monitor and it's not HDR um, it still produces the good colors that the 8-bit uh, sRGB can produce, but 10-bit monitors, it's definitely something you should consider with 4K and HDR. And this monitor right here, I'm very pleased the way it looks. I'm very pleased the way it handles everything. Uh, there is lower input lag here. We got something like... Uh, five millisecond which is not bad not bad not bad at all for a 4k hdr monitor uh the colors are good as a good color gamut not the greatest but definitely um, a good color gamut i mean overall i'm pleased with this monitor uh it's 30 it's 32 inch it's a pretty big size monitor and it's definitely something you will appreciate with 4K.
and uh, HDR. Maybe I can show you a little bit more around here. Believe me, this looks much, much better in person. It's kind of hard to depict this with camera. But you, you guys will just have to trust me that it looks really nice. And this is all set to the ultra setting. This is all ultra, ultra, ultra. And, and it's really good. Spe especially like right up here. When you look at this, it just looks gorgeous. Here, maybe I can go over here, show you a little bit more. Uh, you can see the leaves blowing, the, the shadows and everything. It just looks very realistic. Look at that HDR here, where the sun is beaming and everything. It just looks great. I mean, for a monitor, this is pretty darn good. But, but don't expect it to be like a television, okay, guys? Um... Uh, this is a monitor. This is not a television. And it is what it is. Monitors, you know, they're monitors. They're meant to be uh, watched up close. You're going to be watching this up close. You're not going to be sitting far away. So, therefore, you don't need a ridiculous peak brightness on this monitor. And uh, I'm really blown away by the graphics in this game. Uh, with what Frostbite Engine is doing here, it's pretty darn good. I have to tell you. I did a live live stream yesterday, but here's the problem. On that live stream, you know, I had my HDR turned on, and when you turn the HDR on, everything looks kind of over bright, and it looks kind of all, uh, out of space in terms of color. So when you are live streaming this, and you have your AGR turned on, then it doesn't look that great. Maybe I can bring my camera closer. Here, maybe I can bring the camera closer so you guys can see a little bit better. This is native 4K Ultra settings, DirectX 12. It just looks beautiful, man. Let me bring it a little bit closer. Maybe I can show you too, like here. I'm not like fighting or anything here. I just want you guys to see the graphics. That's the whole point here. So you guys can see. Uh, at least to get some idea. Like at least I want you guys to get some idea. Remember, uh, it's impossible for you to see the HDR here. But at least maybe you can get some idea on how this monitor handles it. It really does look great. Like especially up here. I love this level right here. The reflection and the leaves and everything. Just looks great. Especially on this part right here. Now, if you see, if you hear, that's my uh, Aurora that's just uh, uh, running like a jet plane. Because we're running this in a native 4K, DirectX 12, ultra settings. Everything's set to the ultra settings, so this is pretty much... And you can see I'm getting lousy 37 frames, 38 frames, maybe close to 40 frames per second. But that's what you're gonna get when you turn everything to the maximum you know to truly hit 60 fps in native 4k ultra settings rectx 12 you're gonna have to have rtx 2080 ti i think to 
to truly hit that 60 FPS. Or SLI 1080 will do it. SLI 1080 will do it for sure. But I'm very pleased the way it looks. Uh, the way this monitor looks and runs. and I mean... I think 32 inch, and this is not the TN panel. See, the reason why I like 32 inch this uh, monitor because it's a VA panel, vertical alignment. It's not a twisted pneumatic like the one I have over here. This is a twisted pneumatic. This is a TN panel. This one right here, this is a VA panel. So, uh, twisted pneumatic, when you, when you shift to the left and to the right, the colors shift with this one that's not the case and it really looks good it really does So anyway, I just want to do this quick video. People wanted to ask me about this. Uh, I originally wanted to do this, but then I uh, I totally forgot about these monitors. People have been asking me about these monitors because they know I have them. I actually have three. I have two BenQs. They're both 4K HDR. And then I have my uh, sRGB IPS 4K LG monitor. It doesn't have HDR, but it's a 4K uh, so I have a total of three 4K monitors, as a matter of fact. And I have two 4K HDR monitors. I got way too much 4K HDR everything, as a matter of fact. <laughs> now, for those of you who have RTX uh, graphics cards, you will benefit from the... Uh, ray tracing here you will benefit from that uh, the ray tracing the reflection here will be much better if there's an explosion uh, or fire you will see a much much better uh, reflection for sure well I don't know if there's anything else I can say uh, like I said I like to monitor I've been using it I am I'm really happy with the VA panel with this 32 inch. I think you guys should definitely give this one a try for Christmas. A 32 inch uh, vertical alignment VA panel. 32 inch is perfect for 4K and HDR, and I really have no complaints here. I been using it. I like it. It is a 10 bit. It's not sRGB. It's a 10 bit panel, uh, and it looks good. I mean, honestly, for a computer. Uh, even for the Xbox One X and PlayStation, I've been using it. And I know some of you have been asking me, was it possible for you to uh, connect your Xbox One X and PlayStation 4 Pro on it? Could you please try out and see how it looks? Um, I've been meaning to do that. Uh, I've been trying to do that. It's just, you know, people need to understand. Uh, yes, I know my channel has grown. It's getting bigger. But you also have to understand, guys, that... Uh, Believe it or not, I have a life, and uh, I do have my main job, and I do have my private life, which I keep secret, and I don't talk about it too much, because uh, it's my private life, no one's business, I don't want to talk about it. So, I like to keep some things private and secret, but I am very busy, guys, you know, I'm very busy sometimes, and uh, for me to do all these requests, it takes time. Because I do this by myself. It's not like I have a bunch of uh, people to help me out. It's not like I have somebody like interns to be doing all the work for me to make all these requests happen. It's I do this all by myself, guys. So, you know, I mean, it takes a while. Well, anyway, there you have it. Uh, I really like this monitor, BenQ, this 32-inch uh, monitor, EW32. 32 uh, 
seven OU or something like that. Uh, the model number, I really like it. I haven't had any uh, complaints about it so far. I mean, but it is a monitor, guys. You have to remember something. It is a monitor. I wouldn't spend more than four hundred. I wouldn't. Here's the thing. I wouldn't spend more than five hundred on it. If you're gonna be spending six hundred to seven hundred, and you don't have a four K. HDR television, it's not worth it. Uh, forget about it. But if you can get it for like 500, go for it. You know. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys. I have something for you today. Some some live stream. Uh, I'm working on that. I'll let you know later what type of live stream is going to be. So just stick around and you will see. All right, guys, have a good one, though. Thank you for watching. Cheers.